Hey guys, what's up? Rajit here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, this video is completely based on nuke de-aging process by using some cool techniques. I know you are already excited for this video from long time. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, right now we are in Nuke and if you notice this de-aging is done inside of Nuke and the result is just amazing. The detailing and all the wrinkles are just removed and you have still the details on her face. Guys, let me clear with you something that for this video you have to know about how to use face builder and face tracker node inside of Nuke. I already have two videos based on that. So just go and check that two videos. It will be helpful and then you can come and join because I will not show that same process here again for this tutorial. So I'll jump after doing the face tracker part. So this is my input and uh, this is the face builder node which is connected to camera. After doing face builder, I did this face tracker. So let me show you that uh, how it will look like after doing the face tracker. So just go to the first frame. This is my first frame and just double click on this face tracker. So that see this face is right now here. After that, you can check this all on and off like this so that it, you can see the exactly face how it look like. So I'm not playing it because it's 4K and it's getting so much time to buffer. So after doing face tracker, the next part is how you can apply anything, any textures on it, how you can DH. So this is the basic uh, topic of our today's tutorial. So for that, what you have to do, you have to take a node called Project 3D because we have to project our uh, texture on this 3D mesh. So how it will happen? So just first of all, press tab. And when you see this in already in 3D space, and this is actually a 3D mesh model. Okay, so we have to project by using a camera, this camera, a, a texture on this model. This is a basic simple idea. So press tab again. Now we are taking a node called project. 3d like this and you can see that one node is called camera and this is the image and this is the output so guys in my last video i was showing only this much area okay for now i'm showing you how you can apply this so first of all this camera should connect to this camera pipe like this and this one will go to this one and now this output will go to this okay and after that press one here now nothing will be happen because we have to project our texture by using this project 3D node on this mesh, which is this face tracker, which is as a geo or as a mesh will be calculated. Now let me arrange this always. You have to do this so that it will not be so much confusion. Now take another node called apply material, press tab and take this apply material shader. And uh, when it will come, sorry, it's look like this. Yeah, now fine. Now this apply material automatically will connect to this. Now this pipe will go to this face tracker. So the basic way is take a dot here like this, connect it to this, take another dot like this so that the entire thing will be already arranged and connected to this. Now see this texture is right now applied on this face. In fact, when you play this, you can see the texture is also being played. Now it's getting buffered that we can't see, but see if you notice this is actually getting changed. Now press tab again. Now nothing will be visible because as you all know, for viewing the 3D uh, things and all, we have to add our scanline renderer. So now what we have to do, take another node, let's arrange it a little more precise. Let's take a scanline renderer, okay? And after that, see there's a camera, object and scene and BG. Now for this, we are not connecting to BG to this. I'll tell you why. First of all, connect the camera to this camera pipe like this and arrange it like this and the object so scene should be this apply material now when you press one you can see the face is visible but we need this scanline renderer as a uv map so for that what you have to do select this projection mode for render camera to uv so when you click this uv you can see this face is right now completely uv mapped okay now what you have to do just make it arrange it like this after that you can do so many steps here but for that we have to make our final output settings done now we have to take again another apply material like this and this material pipe will connect to this scanline renderer again okay now let me show you the things simple thing now take a proto paint node under this and connect the material mat to this okay fine now this one will go again to this like this and connect it 
like this fine i hope guys still now you are already getting understand that's why i'm t telling you the all process is very slow so that you can understand the all the things very good way and now the camera pipe should go to again the camera pipe again i don't think it's a confusing but it's very easy to understand i will tell you uh, uh, after doing all the stuffs now this bg pipe should go to this bg pipe right now and then again make it precise and after that press one so now when you press one you can't understand what happened here so this area is right now as a texture will project on our basic fine input okay now when you go to this roto paint node press one now if you paint anything here just example let's paint like this or let's paint something like this so let's decrease the resolution first so that it's not getting so much hang maybe it can be crash now when you go to the scan line renderer you can see these lines are already there now go to roto paint node again select these two and go to lifetime go to all frames now go again the scan line renderer and just play it simple now see these marks are actually applied on this face in fact if his face sorry if her face will uh, like uh, smudge and all and if his eyes are blinking the shape will also distort it by using the same texture now the de-aging so let's delete it we don't need that right now now we are already have the low resolution so that you can see this is blurred blood is not blurred so now go to this one again now this if you can see there are so many wrinkles here now go to the first frame now how you can remove these wrinkles now inside of nuke you can do a simple roto paint by using clone stamp by using smudging but i am using a script called frequency separation guys i already have a tutorial on this separate node called frequency separation you can check that it anytime now i'm taking this node and now what you have to do this scanline renderer image output i am taking as a texture reference okay now what you have to do take a roto paint node and connect under this again now remove this material here okay now you have to take another roto node as a mask okay now connect this mask to this roto like this and this image pipe should go this because this this is a image will calculate and this image will be removed by this and after that connect this material pipe to this now you can make it arrange it like this fine and uh, just for, for make it around like this now let me show you what happened just double click on this roto node take a simple mask around this and uh, just increase the feather value and then double click on this frequency separation and increase the blur and you can see this area is getting blurred but if you notice also the details are missing so for that you increase this details slightly now you can see the details are coming with this cool texture now i'm just decrease uh, increasing this resolution so that you can see the details are visible but you can't remove this wrinkles line you can make the skin smoother like this now the skin is smoother than before now disable this let's say this is my previous one and this is my current one okay you can make this but how you can remove this wrinkle so for that i'm using this roto paint node for disable this double click on the roto paint node and now you can do simple cleanup of for this uh, wrinkles and for that i am uh, decreasing the hardness opacity a little down and simply you just make a clone of this because we have we don't have any informations on this wrinkles area we have a dark color information so we don't want that that's why we are removing this by using simple clone stamp uh, tool and after that you can use this tool okay this is a smudge tool in photoshop now simply you have to smudge don't smudge too much okay and the uh, hardness should be down opacity little down and then simply smudge these areas so that the color information will be smudged like this and smudge it around simply now when you smudged completely when you clean completely okay now you can turn on this one now disable this one again so that now it's fine now just press d now you can see these lines are not here now what you have to do you have to adjust so let's make it around 13 point i already done this before so i know the value of blur and let's make it six so now see the details are everything looking awesome now these wrinkles you have to remove by using this roto paint node each and every time so guys i will come back after doing all the cleanups and all and i will show you the how the result will look like 
so guys if you notice that the cleaning process is right now done so let me tell you that what i did here so first go to this roto paint node over there i did so many color uh, sorry i did so many uh cloning and all if you can see you can understand that cloning methods and all so just disable this so this is my previous one this is my current one so these are the areas are affected by this roto paint node and after that i'm using this frequency separation node but i'm using this roto node for this now i'm taking a separate separate area mask like this and then doing this frequency separation so that it will look like this now based on your system you can increase or decrease your uh, what you can want this uh, texture details and all if you don't want the details too much you can do it like this for my thing i am doing it only this much and after that you can apply a material again and then just connect but before doing this you just go to this roto paint node select all this and just go to lifetime to all frames so that these frames will be applied on all the frames now see it's doing its own job now when you go to the scan line window you can see your output it's look like this fine all done now by using this way you can create so many things now just disable these areas because I, I will show you one more thing here just disable this one also now just remove this connection now this face see is right now blank now you can add so many textures in so just go through with this if you connect this to this now see this is a mask texture or tattoo how I did that this is my tattoo input pre multiply reformat then I transform this then blend it and then blur now the thing is you have to merge this one to this uh, scanline renderer so for that what you have to do just remove this take a merge and go to the A pipe here and B pipe will go to the scanline renderer and after that go to this material pipe to this now when you play this it will be see it's looking really amazing by using this way you can exactly use some cool textures on her face not only you can remove anything you can add also for by using this method you can actually create a normal age non-aged character a aged character now see the texture is right now applied if i play this see i only buffered this much area see it's good right okay so these are the ways now i have another example like this so guys when everything will be done after de-aging and everything it will completely look like this in front of the screen so guys i hope you really enjoyed my this de-aging tutorial and i know this tutorial was the most exciting tutorial ever and you guys already loved my videos and all so if you really love my videos then don't forget to like because if you click like it's really giving me so much motivation to create more videos so please give us like and don't forget to share as much as you can also you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter and you have to subscribe our channel vfx world also you have to press a bell icon for the further notification guys i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking vfx world